Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic, medium, oracle, and prophetess. So, um, which means I don't really need the cards. I use them to connect to you guys. So, welcome! You guys have already seen the title of this video, so you know why you guys are here. Um, I don't know yet what the cards are going to entail, what the reading is going to say, um, but I can tell you guys what I'm feeling today, as always, okay? Um, I am feeling... I feel that today the masculine is feeling so um, appreciative, so grateful to the feminine for what they've done in their life, for what they've shown them, for what they brought into their life, for the healing that has taken place because of the feminine. You guys showed them the light, took them out of the darkness showed them that twin flames exist or showed them what a spiritual connection is. You know, it's you were, you know, I'm not going to say for all of you guys that you are the reason, but for many of you guys watching this, and this is the truth for yourself as well, meeting you, coming into union with you, Divine Feminine, was the catalyst of their awakening, of their woe what is happening it like helped them to understand duality that we are divine beings having a human experience speaking of which look what flips over right as i'm saying that spirit this is what they are embodying at this time they're 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 embracing their divinity they're embracing their um their destiny it says prime element source energy akasha unified field a soul spark the, the meeting of two souls not only in the higher realms but coming into union in the 3d in the physical world that ignited this healing process this awakening for the for the dm it says, allow, trust in divine timing, zero point energy, timeless. They're understanding that these connections are timeless. These are very deep, right? And then you have the Empress. So this is what they're, they are manifesting um, a new cycle, okay? Um, but they are in all of this today, right now, because of the divine feminine, the Empress. They want to build. They want to complete this triangle here, the Holy Trinity. They want to complete spirit, divine feminine, and divine masculine. Goes right there, Emperor. Let's see if they, let's see if the Emperor wants to show their face. Let's see if the Emperor wants to complete this triangle. I mean, I know they do, but let's see if they come out. So anyways, going back to what I'm feeling today. So they are missing you like crazy. Um, they wouldn't admit it to themselves for so long. What this connection was, who you were to them, what you brought into their life. Okay. Um, they were being stubborn. Wanting to stand alone with the, with the tower here. says legal systems ego they were standing tall in their ego okay but <clears throat> they realize all this stuff right and that's why I'm saying they're so appreciative today of the feminine they're so grateful like they want to show you they want to tell you what you've done for them all of I mean like you have made this person want to be the best version of themselves possible no one ever no one has ever done that for them they couldn't even do that for themselves, but meeting the divine feminine, all of a sudden, they know where they belong with the geese. It's it's coming home. Geese, it's cyclical. It always comes back around, right, to you. Their thoughts, their love, their everything, their dreams. It says on a quest, migration, relocation. You might have to relocate to be with this person. That could have been part of the hang up here. 
that could have been part of the hang up as to why they, yeah, see top of the deck right here. I was like, it was just kind of like sitting like this and I went to go straighten it, you know, as I'm fidgeting and talking, channeling, but then my intuition said, pick up that card. It goes with what you're about to say. The reason why they broke free, took off running, the, the masculine energy, the stallion, was because they recognized you as their home, where they belong, and they weren't ready to go home. They weren't ready to go home. But now they're coming back. They know where they're going. They wanna come home, return back to you. And this is current energy. The geese are, are migrating at this time, flying south for winter. The masculine is flying home for winter to the feminine. Current energy. All right, give me one more, please. What does the collective need to know today, please? Snowflake, speaking of winter. And it's a nine. This is about cycles completing, right? Desires. And then the fish. Expansion, the crow, master number 22. This is about a new event. It's a good omen. A new event or happening is taking place very soon. This is also um, psychic ability, right? It's a uh, magic. It's a magical connection. The empress is also a very magical energy. She's very high vibrational. She's all the queens rolled into one, right? She can't be compared. Many of you guys are seeing crows a lot or you're just resonating with the crow um, energy at this time. Seeing 222 two, two a lot, five, 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 things of that nature, three, three, three. Okay, um, the fish, this is expansion. The, the DM has gone through a turbulence of a year, okay, and they have been hit financially for many of them in different ways. They've taken losses. And this was extremely devastating to their ego. But when all these things were happening for the DM, every single time something happened, they had a t another tower moment happen in their life, they always think of you. And they're understanding now that the true expansion the true manifestation, the true fortune lies with their feminine. So they, they're aligning, right? And now they're starting to do things on, in a divine order in their destined path, right? So there's expansion coming in for them. They're feeling fortunate. They're seeing this. But this is also so much deep emotion and luck. You guys, the feminine, you guys, for many of you watching this, you guys have a flow, a major flow of abundance coming in financially. It is a complete stroke of luck, but it's not luck, it's alignment. They're one and the same. You, when you're aligned, you're lucky. Things just roll because you're aligned, because you're manifesting, right? So the DM is actually like, you're their guru. You have taught them so much. You are a contributing factor to their ascension, to their healing, to their finances growing and healing. They are connecting all the dots at this time. And you, this connection, they are understanding how unique it is, how exquisite you are, how unique you are, how there's no one like you, just like a snowflake. There's not one snowflake that is the same. They're extremely delicate, extremely beautiful. When you see snow falling, you catch a snowflake on your tongue or your nose or your, you know, just there's something so beautiful about snow and nostalgia and it, snow is white. It's very pure. This is all of you. How they view you and your essence, your light is that of the snowflake. Unique, exquisite, detailed, gentle, exquisite crystal cold handle with care 
they know that they have to handle this with care. They have to, they have to handle this connection. You approaching you, they have to be very careful. They have to do a, they have to do this uniquely because you're unique. For a lot of you guys with the raccoon, it says problem solver, curious, ask questions, creative, entrepreneur. Many of you guys are entrepreneurs. Your person is an entrepreneur as well or they are being called. So that's another thing is like, as the feminine has had their glow up, right? You guys have started your businesses. You guys have started whatever it is, kicking ass in your career. Like you're, you're happy, looking good. They've been watching from the sidelines, right? And it has inspired them to do the same. They feel like for many of them, like they can't go any further in their career or something. So they just want to start their own business. They want to start their own thing but it's like they're connecting all the dots like i said and they're like oh my gosh like all these things like ever since i met the feminine ever since i met her ever since i met him ever since i met that person like everything fell apart but then it like i always think of them and like as i've been healing because they've inspired me to heal now things are starting to do good Raccoons also wear a mask, you know, so this is about the mask falling off too. And what's coming in? Communication, fireworks, and commitment. You guys, this is past life energy for me. This card, the rings, it's fulfillment of soul contracts. And with the geese, this is showing me that it's finally coming full circle here. Full circle with the rings. It's infinite. They want to marry you. They want to marry you so hard. They could be writing you a love letter. There's news coming in though. It says making contact. They want to carefully, they're, they're like really thinking hard about all of this because they just feel so much for you and they're just so grateful for you and your, your light and what you've done for them. This is how they feel when they think of you. This is what they want. This is what they want to manifest with you. This is what you guys felt when you came into contact with each other. The first time you saw each other, the first time you touched, kissed. Love at first sight for many of you. The masculine felt hard instantly. But they ran, right? It says passion, chemistry, lust, happiness, excitement, the holiday, we're in the holiday season. Celebration. Yep, there's going to be cause to celebrate for a lot of you guys. This masculine is not wanting to um, just think of you anymore. They want to talk to you. They want to feel you. Um, yesterday, they were struggling with their ego and pride and all of that, okay? Today, they feel not so much that, but they feel... Um, like I said, like happiness and grateful and appreciative for, of, the, of the feminine at this time. Where are we at? 13 minutes. Okay. I'm going to do some tarot now. Sexual magic tarot. Okay. 18 and older viewers only. <laughs> All my videos are for 18 and over. Um, my content is not for children. All right. For the collective, please, at this time, I'm just going to pull intuitively, you guys. What messages for the Divine Feminine at this time? For the collective, what is the masculine feeling today at this time? I knew it. I knew that was going to be a fucking greatly amazing, powerful card. This is what they're thinking. This is what they're feeling today. It's the star. Aquarius energy. Notice she's pouring. It looks like it could be milk or, you know, something. But what I'm getting is hot wax. I feel it's hot wax because he almost looks like the energy that I feel is like the moment it hits his skin. He's like, hold up. You know, like, I can take it. I can take it. And she's like, yeah, you will. You're going to sit here and you'll take it. Okay. 
because I'm your wish come true. I'm your wish fulfillment. I'm what you desire and manifested into your reality. And now I'm going to make all your dreams come true. This is what the ma masculine is thinking, feeling, and wanting. They want to submit. They want you to be in control for a while. They want to come in and take control just to get things going, but then they are all yours. And basically it's showing here that, yes, the stars are aligning for you two. Okay. This is about you guys coming together as well and finishing out your healing. The masculine is wanting to do everything they can at this point to make their wishes or their dreams reality with you. They appreciate you so much. You're a wish, a dream come true, a wish fulfillment for them. That's what I mean. They're so grateful for you, for your light. Your, you know, the star card energy is healing. Very healing energy. So, oh, bottom of the deck. Judgment. I love this. They've been connected for lifetimes. See this child? You guys could come together and have a little boy. But this is a child that either you guys will have in this lifetime or that you've had in past lifetimes. This is judgment. See the divine calling down, bringing them together. You know, in the old days, you know, like there's hand fasting where they did the tying and it's, you know, and it was like that. And those are bonds that could not be broken. You guys have been hand fasted before in previous lifetimes. This is coming full circle. The geese, it's cyclical, returning home. Right as I looked at the timestamp, it was 17 minutes exactly. 17 is the star card. Can't make it up. So the divine masculine is making a judgment call. They are heeding the call. They are hearing the call of the feminine. They are hearing the call of the divine. And they're coming in to complete this soul contract. Right after judgment, ace of wands. They want to impregnate you. They want to impregnate you with their passion. You have ignited so much passion within them. You impregnated them with passion on an energetic level, on a romantic level, right? Like nothing like they've ever felt. Like he's absolutely in awe of her. He sees her. He wants to nurture her, love her. There's compassion here. He can't believe that it's taken so long for him to realize this. You see this 11 right here in the flames. It's confirmation of twin flames for a lot of you guys, but this is new passion at beginning coming in. For many of you guys, they want to have a baby with you. Like they want to have a family with you. And if you're 60 years old or if you are you know don't want to have any more kids then i don't need to comment saying well how can i have a kid i'm you know not necessary if it's for you it's for you if it's not it's not but i'm telling you guys the ones that can still have children the ones that are still very fertile in that way the masculine like that's part of what they visualize here with the star that's part of what they are manifesting that's part of this wish fulfillment for them is having you, all of you, and having a child with you. Having a child with you. Being bonded to you in that way. Having something that connects you guys in that way. It's really beautiful. But you can see, you know, the 11, it's a man and a woman. Silhouettes of a man and a woman in the fire and the flames. For me, this is your past selves. For me, this is your your past selves, your old selves, your unhealed selves that have gone. It's a purge, right? Sitting back and seeing, this is the, the past, but technically it's right now. This is what's coming in. So you guys will be looking back on the past very soon. And you're gonna be in this moment 
with your divine partner. And you're going to be so grateful, you guys. They are heeding the call. Judgment. They are heeding the call. God, these cards, I just love them. They're so beautiful. Like, the emotion in them. The energy that they give off. Okay, what else? Let's pull some more cards. I'm going to keep pulling intuitively. We got 20 minutes. All right. Damn, nailing it tonight, you guys. The wheel of destiny turns in your favor. Look at that. 10. It's completion, you guys. You have 10, 10, and 10. And a one. Tens become ones. Endings bring beginnings. Death brings life. You guys were separated by death in the past, past lives. You guys made promises in lifetimes, these, these packs being hand fasted. You guys have made promises to never, to never not find each other. It's lifetime after lifetime. You guys find each other. You heed the call back to one another. With the wheel, this is fortune. Fortune 500, this is fortune. This is luck, this is abundance. This is the wheel turning in your favor. It's a shift in energy. It's like something's been one way and all of a sudden it's a different way, it's that. And see that all the, all the feminine energies here, this is 10, it's completion. The DM is like closing out cycles with karmics they're no longer interested in dating multiple people. They don't want their options open. They want their options closed. Because, baby, it's cold outside. The weather outside is frightful. Na, 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 na. Yeah. Baby, it's cold outside. They feel left out in the cold. They want to come in from the cold. So they're leaving all the things behind. This also is a representative of, um, you see here, this one karmic energy is looking at her, the beautiful, like she's all beautiful and like confident and naked with like looking at herself in the mirror. And this one is scowling at her, scowling at her beauty, at her confidence, at her glow, her poise. That one is an issue. That one's not. That one is. So what is this telling me is your DM has a karmic. Obviously, you know, adults, we have exes. They have exes. One is not, doesn't give a shit. If they know who you are, whatever, it doesn't matter. Or when they do find out who you are, like they're not going to be like that. But one of them is. It could be the karmic they're with right now. It's it, They're looking at you with jealousy, with scorn with jealousy, envy. Okay, but this is also the, the, the masculine. They see how beautiful the feminine is, how, how you know handsome the feminine is, how they are getting attention, how they look good in life right now. And they, and they want to claim you as theirs. Like they want to have you, all of you. That one flew out. It was two of swords. I'm like charging these cards up with my energy so they want to talk. All right. Jeez. Okay, good. Let's get one more. Queen of Pentacles. This is the perfect partner. And then two of Pentacles. You see here and then the lovers. Look at that. This is the DM right here with multiple options, with options. But he is only looking at one option in front of him, her. This one, again, 
looks like it's like the same color hair and everything too. Look, this one and that one, very similar. She's watching the feminine, jealous, pissed, envious. And in this one, she's watching the feminine because he's watching the feminine, jealous, pissed, envious. She's also sad. You see Cupid up here. He shot him with his arrow and he's looking right at her when he shoots him. This is them kind of creeping up on you. They kind of sneak up on you out of nowhere. <laughs> and you've had your glow up. I mean, you're gorgeous in a gown, like all dolled up, right? And they just can't even believe you're real. Like they want to touch you. They're coming in. They're that's so close. It's almost here. Like they're so close. They feel like you put a spell on them. I put a spell on you and now you're mine. You better watch the things you do. This right here, I'm getting a spell. It looks like a, like a, you know, herbs and, and it's, for me, I'm a witch, so it's like, you know. He's like, my God, I just wanna to touch you. I can't get enough of you. Are you real? What'd you do to me? What did you do to me? Did you put a spell on me? He almost looks afraid to touch her. Queen of Pentacles. Here he is ready to suck on her toes. That's how much he loves her. He wants to do anything and everything. Sky's the limit. He wants to just worship her. This is worshiping her. As she sits strongly in her power, looking at herself in the mirror, she's worshiping who she is and he's worshiping her. And that's why he worships her because she worships herself. She's the queen of pentacles. She's financially stable. She's compassionate. She's kind. She's nurturing. She's loving. She's down to earth. She's real. She's the perfect partner. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Gemini here. Um, we have the fire signs, Aquarius. Um, so pretty much everyone. So. Let's just see, let's scroll fast. We got 27 minutes. Let's get the tea real quick. If I get any more messages from these cards, I will channel them out for you guys. But this is like in every single card, every, every single card, I want you guys to see how he is towards her in awe of her. Do whatever you want to me, I'm yours. In awe of her. Wanting to take care of her, love her, nurture her. In this one, he has no interest at all in the other person in front of him. He has all his attention is on one. And that's the one he's staring at. And he's struck by the bow of Cupid, right? In this one, in awe of her adoring her in awe of her even the karmic is in awe they can't stop watching her they can't stop looking at her okay so all right cool so let's get the tea you guys let's get the tea Tell us what the collective needs to know at this time, please, spirit. For their highest good and the highest good of all involved, please. What is going on today with the DM? Blind, searching for answers, blinded to the truth, watching you online, I told you, wanting to know. Right now, the DM is feeling so out in the cold. They are heeding the call to communicate and talk to you. They want to speak truth to you. 
But more than anything, they want to know how you feel. It's like they're watching you online looking for any kind of little sign that you still want them, that you still love them. I am not saying go post something about wanting them or being single or hoping an ex will return. Like, do not do that. But there's this energy of that. Like, they're hoping, they watch you, like, waiting for something, you know? So maybe drop a little something, you know? You guys will know your situations and what feels natural and good. Okay, right now, they are wanting to talk, you know, communicate, making judgment calls, walking away from, you know, situations, whatever. But they want, they want to search, they want to know the answers of things. And right now, there's influences third parties, manipulation, intervention. This is intervention, the divine intervening in the third party. 